All right, here's uh, Laddie Reed yeah. with Mainstreamed Media interviewing uh, Greg Pallas. Yeah. And we had a, a few questions, Mr. Pallas. Okay. Uh, let's see, first question is, uh, what are some people doing to uh, suppress the vote of people with disabilities? Ah, well, one of the problems we have is that people with disabilities, of course, um, have all the problems that everyone else has. You're <laughs> subject to you're, you're subject to caging, you're subject to purging, you're subject to your vote spoiling. Um, you know, there's all the impediments. They don't want to make voting easy, and that's one of the problems. So, of course, they resent the idea that they have to have special facilities. They, have, they don't like facilities for people who don't have disabilities. They're all trying to disable us in one way or the other from voting. That's the problem, is that there is a hostility to voting, and anything they could do to suppress the vote, and they know, of course, let's face it, People with disabilities tend to have a great deal of sympathy for people who have who have problems and troubles and have a little bit of difficulty in life. That's not exactly the, 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 the billionaire's favorite demographic. We know that. <laughs> they know that. Uh, so they're not going to go out of their way to make it easy. <laughs> the next question was, uh, uh, how does Portland's audience's uh, response to you or their reactions compare to folks from, from other cities when they, when they listen to you or hear one of your uh, presentations? I think Portland, I, it's, it's an odd word, but I think I get more love in Portland. And not only love from, not only love for uh, my words, but it, for each other. It's much more of a community. People are like together. Where I go to other places like San Francisco and New York, uh, people enjoy and, and get a lot out of what I'm saying, but they're all in little factions. And they, leave, and they go into the hallway and they beat each other up because they all have little differences. But in Portland, people understand a little bit more of the concept of like getting together and doing something as a group, as an organization with one feeling, even if there's differences on this issue or that issue. And, and so I really, really enjoy Portland. I, and you know, it, it's hard not to like it. It's a place where, my, where all my books have always been number one. And so I always feel like, like, gee, there must be some some people here who either I've, I completely fool or are maybe they uh, see something uh, that's valuable in what we're doing and so I do I appreciate a lot I really enjoy coming to, to Portland what, what kind of car do I drive what kind of car do I drive do you own a, do you own a car um, <laughs> I uh, it's it's I, I now draw I actually take my main vehicle is a scooter not an elect uh, not an electric one a push one I actually go around New York on a uh, on a scooter, on a zooter. Uh, you know, I usually don't plug products, but uh, it's a very nice scooter. So I, I take little, and my whole staff has scooters. And uh, then when we don't have scooters, if it's longer distance, I take bicycles. So and public transport. How come they do that? Huh? What's that? How come do they? Oh yeah, how, how did you get here today? How did I get here today? I had good friends who uh, gave me a lift. What kind of car? What kind of car? I have no idea. What kind of car are they Subaru driving? A, 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 yeah, a Subaru, I guess. I actually have no kind. I have no idea. Subaru. Subaru. Okay. Le less than American made, right? I thought Subarus are made in Tennessee now or something. I, you know, it's like. That's the problem is that we don't know where anything is made. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then I had a question. I, um, I, I, I believe Ted Rawl advocates a boycott of the election. No, um, no, no. You don't think so? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd fire him. <laughs> no, Ted Rawl does not believe in boycotting the election. That would be oh? wrong. He is not a fan of the incumbent. He's not a fan of any of the big parties. So he's not a promoter of voting for the guys that are already in power. That's his opinion. I don't have to agree with it. You don't have to agree with it. But one thing Ted has never said, he's never said don't vote. He said take back your ballot, take charge. If you look in billionaires and ballot bandits, his last frame is it's up to us, go in and take charge. Very good. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Oh, thank you so much. Anything else, Lottie? Are, are you happy with your work? Are, are you? Does your job make you happy? <laughs> That's interesting. Doing the work, filming, writing, investigating, I love it. What gets me very frustrated, honestly, is is trying to bang my head against the brick wall of American media. So that's why. I, yeah. Well, how do you, you can empathize? Exactly. So we are on the same wave. 
because we're all, we're both doing that type of progressive yeah, journalism hair, that they don't want to hear. My hair is all bald. Yeah, me too. I've lost my hair trying to do this one too. So see? <laughs> Twins. Okay, you're the best, Laddie. Hey. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Thank you so much. Anthony Pepitone? Anthony? Oh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Yes, okay. And, and this is uh, Laddie Reed signing out. Oh, I love you. Yep. All right.